guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be in the shop for a little bit, but we'll be headed outside real quickly to work on the truck. You guys might be wondering, well, what are we working on today? Well, today we're actually be replacing some V-band clamps that are on the exhaust on the truck. As you guys may remember, I did a engine mount swap. We did the transmission mount. We also put in that transmission brace a couple videos ago. Well, I've had a problem where I come to a stop sign or a stoplight or you know whatever we're doing, whenever we're stopped, I can actually sometimes smell exhaust fumes inside the truck. So I suspect with that real bad rocking that we were having with that torn engine mount, I'll actually include a video of that here. With that real bad rocking back and forth of the engine, probably moving like, I don't know, four or five inches over to the passenger side, I suspect that the OEM V-bands have gone bad. So I went ahead and picked up a set of V-bands off of uh, Amazon actually. And these are gonna be part number 904-148 and 904-254. So one of these V-bands is up top that connects the turbo to the downpipe and the bottom V-band goes from the downpipe to the exhaust itself. So there are two V-bands in the exhaust system and we're basically just gonna be replacing them with these door minions. And this shouldn't take that long. The one up top, I've already had the uh, turbo heat shield removed. I actually removed that when we put the uh, downpipe in. We never put it back because it was kind of in the way. So the top one shouldn't be too bad. The bottom one, I'm not exactly sure how bad it's gonna be, but we'll go ahead and get started. And one piece of advice, I'm actually gonna put a floor jack under the exhaust and put a little bit of pressure on it. That way everything stays in place when we disconnect the V-bands because you don't really want the exhaust falling or moving or anything like that. You want everything to be solid. All right guys, you can see we're back here above the turbo. You can see the V-band clamp that we've started to loosen up. This is a 11 millimeter. I unfortunately didn't have an 11 millimeter socket that was deep enough. So I just used the shortest 11 millimeter wrench that we could get. Like I said earlier, I did end up putting a floor jack under the exhaust, so this shouldn't move too, around too much. So, but now that I've loosened it, basically we're just gonna take this knot off, take the V-band clamp off, and we'll put on the new one. All right guys, so here's the new one. This is part number 148, so this will be the V-band for the top of the turbo. And uh, here's the factory. Well, I don't know if it's the factory, but here is the old one. Go ahead, get this installed, and you will see this is stretched a little bit on the bottom here, so we may actually end up doing that on here just to try to get it off. So we may end up having to do that, like I was saying. But yeah, that should work out. So let's go ahead and get this top one installed. See that we have the V-band in the middle of the screen there, and uh, I do have actually two nuts on there. And I actually learned a long time ago that if you put two nuts on the V-band, it's less likely to back off, get loose, rattle, and all that stuff. So we did get that V-band clamp tight. I think you guys can see it. And yeah, so that's the top one. All right, guys, so as you just saw, we do have the top V-band clamp installed. We got that all tightened down, so we're pretty much good to go. Now what we need to do is actually go underneath the truck and go ahead, get the factory one loose, and then we'll go ahead and install the new one. This is our new one. We kind of already showed you that earlier. We got the nut, the nut loose, and I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the OEM nut that comes off that V-band clamp and double nut this one, just so that, you know, kind of like I said, so that everything stays tight. And it's actually been a couple days since our last update, and you guys will notice I am in different clothes. Uh, the truck actually was quieter with just changing out the top V-band clamp. So I have a feeling that we have a bad top and bottom but I already have noticed that there is a reduced uh, exhaust spooling noise, if that, if that makes sense. Like just the truck seems overall quieter since we did, I think we did tighten down that uh, bad V-band clamp and there was no exhaust leak there. So let's go ahead we'll get under here. We'll get the old one out and put the new one in. As you can see, we did get the bottom V-band clamp in and you can see the two nuts on there just to make sure it doesn't back out or anything. And that's pretty much gonna be it for the V-band clamp replacement the bottom wasn't too difficult i just had to get it up and around there's a, a uh i just had to get it up and around the block there's a little bit of a uh bulge in the aluminum or steel whatever the block is made out of and i had to get that 
V-band clamp around that and then I was able to just feed it around Tighten it down put the uh, two nuts on it. and That's pretty much it All right guys as you can see evening is fast approaching and we're just about wrapped up with this project I did have a hanger. It's actually the hanger that kind of comes off the Allison transmission There's like a bracket that connects to the back of the trans and uh, There's actually a hanger there that had actually fallen out at some point and uh, when I actually tightened up the downpipe, it was actually rattling against that hanger. So I took some time, I took the bracket off the transmission, fed the rubber grommet thing back through that bracket, put it back on the trans, that's everything there is tightened up. Then I checked the top, I checked the bottom, no exhaust leaks that I can see. And actually the kind of interesting thing is I'm actually hearing a little bit of turbo spool. I never heard that before. So. And so since that's like the first time I've actually heard turbo spool, uh, it's kind of hard to describe. It's not the normal, like when you're driving and it goes like, it's whistling. This was actually a little bit of a more uh, lower pitch whistle. So it's kind of, kind of a little bit different. But like I said, I did check both upper and lower band clamps, I'm not feeling any, any exhaust come through. And uh, like I said, I did pick up that little bit of low end turbo spool, if that's what we want to call it. I'm not really sure what we want to call that, but and like I did say earlier in the video, we have been driving around with just the fixed upper and that quieted down a little bit. I think now with the lower being, you know, fixed, replaced, whatever, I think that has quieted down even more. So I really do think I had a bad combination of bad V-bands as well as the bad motor mount. You guys already saw the motor mount video. Now you've seen the V-band video. And now hopefully we just keep going on fixing these quick tech tips. Uh, this video might be a little bit longer just because I had to explain some stuff, but so that's actually be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more truck videos, quick videos like this, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And if you guys want to help support the channel, check out the links down below. I'll have links to the V-band clamps and make sure you check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Thanks guys. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.